everyone, Tom here from TechNexus, and thanks for joining me on today's video. Now, I know it's been a while, um, things have just been busy here, which really isn't an excuse. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, it just uh, came down to not having enough time to make some videos. So I'm hopefully uh, going to get back into uh, more YouTube videos in the coming weeks, make more of an effort. Um, and just wanted to kick off uh, this this week's video on using um, BIM 360 docs with some Plant 3D files. Now, I do have my own hub here. You can see with the TechNexus hub and a YouTube demo. So this is our uh, project home. So I'm just going to jump into the doc management side of things, and I'm going to use uh, one of my own PNIDs. So uh, I'm not going to upload it to plans, I'm going to upload it into project files. So what I'm going to do is just drag and drop PNIDs from Windows Explorer, which is on a, on a second screen obviously, which you, you're, not, you're, not, uh, you're not viewing. So we're just looking at this one screen and I'm manually uploading some DWG files here. So I just wanted to have really have a look at how uh, BIM 360 Docs handles Plant 3D PNIDs um, just by a, a manual sort of drag and drop. So it looks like one of them's uploaded and the second one is uploaded as well. So you can see we've got them there at V1, we've got the size, who it was done by when they're updated. So if I just go into the first one, and I have used uh, paper space model space for these PNIDs. So you can see here we've got uh, the 2D view here. So that'll be our model space and that'll be our paper space. Okay, so if I dive into it and we select the line and go to the properties, so it is coming up as an S line or a sline, however you want to pronounce it. It's going to the tank, so we do get uh, the data coming through uh, indicating where it is going, so it is going to TK100, so that, that does show up here. The tag is visible to us, the spec, the size, the part, uh, what kind of uh, item it is, the description, and in any other status. Uh, the area, I guess, probably doesn't really mean anything to us. If I look at something like the tank, so we do have the class name, design pressure, the PMP ID number, where it is, uh, type number, design temperature, status, description, height, uh, and the height and width there, so that's good. We do get some of the information flowing through um, from the pin ID. So if we look at also the pumps, so again, same thing, the pump and its general data does come through. And let's look at valves. So there's an actuator. Control valve, untagged, so it does have the question marks in there, but that's neither here nor there for this exercise. So uh, it looks like the data is coming through, which is good. I was always, I think in the early days of Docs or possibly even Team, I can't remember which one it was. I think it didn't work for a while or it just depends on where it came from as well. So we do have here in uh, paper space, all the line weights coming through. If I switch to 3D, there's nothing in there as well. So issues, I can come in here and populate an issue for something. So I can just come in here and review drain assign it to myself, make it due by this, fri uh, this Friday, no locations on here, that's fine, uh, and then I can type in here, please review the drain, and go create. So I will get an email for that, but if I just uh, go back to the project dashboard, So we can see on here that those issues do come through, which is good. So if you are, I guess this is just a, a bit of information. If you're looking at using, not active, yes I do. If you're looking at using um, uh, BIM 360 um, docs with manually uploaded plant 3D files, you can see here where those issues are set there. Um, then you can just upload them, give access, I guess, to other people for them to review and to, to possibly even download. Um, 
and then sort of see where it takes it from there. So good news on all fronts for the time being, but uh, hopefully this has been informative for you. What I might do, um, I'll see how I go if i got time this week, but possibly even next week, um, I might upload some manual um, updates to these properties. So I'll go through and see if I can add in some uh, user-defined properties and see if they also appear in BIM 360 Docs, which uh, it'll be interesting to see if it does or doesn't. So thumbs up for the video if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, but please uh, make comment down below and I will endeavor to answer it as soon as I can. Uh, and again, thanks for sticking around and for watching today's video and I will see you next week for some more uh, PNIDs and BIM 360 Docs. So thanks again and I'll catch you later. See ya.